Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Wild Finds, where I search thrift stores for media items. Back here at Resale America. I'm not even enjoyable anymore. So I see some good ones here, but they're behind a bed. Oh no. Conan the Adventurer. Wow. Miami Vice. Return of the King, new and sealed. This one seems really obscure. It always pays to look behind the bed for rare DVDs. This one's worth grabbing for resale. It's new and sealed. Heck yeah, $14 well spent. Here at the next thrift store, at the last thrift store I went to, there was a guy looking up the Disney VHS. So to do him a favor, I told him like, you don't have to look those up, they're not worth anything. And I think he didn't believe me and thought I only told him that so I could buy them for myself. Well, here we are like a half mile down the road and VHS are 10 cents. And they have a bunch of Disney. And I'm gonna grab this carry right here. And this Beatles was with the VHS, but it's actually cassette tapes inside there. Also found these right here, which for 10 cents are a good deal. This one called Hot Wire. This looks pretty obscure. Paragon video. Nice. I've never seen this. 10 things I hate about you, so gonna grab that. Young Guns Fall Play. I watched this for the first time a few weeks ago, and it was actually kind of boring in my opinion. So I'm not gonna grab this. I just wanted to show it. Serial Mom, though. This is a fun one. Raw Deal. That's a good deal for a raw deal, 10 cents. And last but not least, I want to make a meme based off this movie right here and call it Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Judge Dread." Whoa, they have Ted Nugent full bluntal nudity. Here at City Thrift, there's Saks. I want to go in there, that place is full of nuts. <laughs> So they have a couple uncommon games here, NASCAR Rumble, World of Outlaws Sprint Cars for PlayStation 2. This Parenthood DVD is kind of interesting because it came from Big Lots and it was clearanced for $2.50 and then clearanced at $0.75. Cents. Now it's at this thrift store for $2.99. So the thrift store price should be lower than what the lowest retail price was. Now this is interesting, Lord of the Rings, but not the movies, the books for $1.99 brand new. I didn't even know they made books out of those movies. Oh, that's a little joke. Hey, kept nowhere on VHS, but what a load of booba. Got some plushies here. This character is known as Piper the Hyper Mouse. Uh, it looks like he's on his Adderall though. At this next thrift store here, I wanted to point out this sign, Arts Golf Cars. Real missed opportunity, should have called it Arts Carts. Who even calls them golf cars anyways? Got a free section over here. Ooh. Of course it's empty. It is free, so I'll take it just in case I find the DVD someday. At the thrift store here, found Transformers on PlayStation 2. $5, but everything is half off today. Also found this, Thicker Than Water. It's like a surfing documentary. Seems pretty rare to find this brand new and sealed. I'll take a chance on this one. I always do a double take at the CDs that have the same font as PlayStation 1 games. They also have 25 cent VHS, so with a half off sale, they're like 12, 13 cents. This one, Where the Day Takes You, I've never heard of this, but what a cast on that one. And Dune. Outside this thrift store over here, there's a man giving a free concert. Very nice. Thank you. Do you know any heavy metal music? Pantera? No, no speak English, so I speak Italian. Oh, okay. Got some PS1 games, Loose, Soul Blade, Final Fantasy IX. So these uh, Loose uh, discs over here, how much are those? I don't even know what shape they're in. Are they scratched up? A little, but they're not too, too bad. Mm -hmm. 
And like that one j is just one game, but yeah, it's you're four right, discs. Yeah. I took it out yeah. of case the case was messed up. Uh -huh. I'll probably it off to do 50 cents a piece on those. That'd be fine. Oh, nice. Yeah. $2.50 is spent right before closing time. Back at the New Beginnings Thrift Store, my favorite holiday, media, Monday all media, four for a dollar. So good score right on the top here. A Super Nintendo game boxed. Sweet. For 25 cents, I think I'll grab it. So I saw that Flintstones game and I thought to myself, holy fudge, what a good find. I think it's just this company, Taito or Taito, however you pronounce that. Uh, they just didn't make many of their games, which make them rare. But unfortunately, it didn't come with the game. It came with Super Mario Kart in the box. Still good, but complete. This is like, you know, $400. I can probably get $100 for the box and manual and stuff. And then this is only like a $40 game. So it would have been awesome if it was actually the Flintstones game in there. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but it was 25 cents, so I can't complain. I did grab a few other things. These right here, a Bruce Springsteen box set. Yeah. At the next store here, they have 25 cent DVDs. These ones here, Mrs. Brown's Boys. These look really goofy. These aren't for me to watch. I'm gonna resell these. They're region two anyways. And for some reason, they have two Poetic Justice shirts. Those are a dollar, so I'll grab those. I'll basically grab any graphic t-shirt if it's under two dollars. They're usually not huge sellers, but they do okay sometimes. We can't forget about these. They had some out of print DVDs, Penn and Teller BS, News Radio. You don't see those too often. Same with this one, Wings. This one, Four Brothers on VHS. And it's from 2005, the last year they made VHS. So some of these actually have value. Actually on the last VHS ever released by a major studio, which is a history of violence. Also found these. This Sabrina first season isn't too hard to find, but for whatever reason this one is. I think this is a made for TV movie. I could be wrong. Heck yeah. Here at the Goodwill, they have this Blu-ray, The Point, narrated by Ringo Starr. Judging by the cover, the animation looks pretty bad, but this is in demand, uh, so I'll pick it up. Who knows, maybe it's halfway decent. Found the King Crimson CD, they're a good group. Rainbow Six for the PC, this is a funny little advertisement here. Play it on the internet. At this thrift shop right here. I don't think this is gonna be too exciting for my viewers, but I do buy things that aren't media items. Like for instance, I'll buy these Sex in the City mini collection perfumes. They only want a dollar each for the whole set. There's no sold listings online, but I think I can do pretty good with these. So yeah, for a dollar each, gonna grab all these. Heck yeah. Is it just me or would it be weird to go to Target barefoot? Hey, so now I'm at GameStop. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. I don't really like spending $60 on new games. You know, some are cheaper. I did think about grabbing this one, but I don't think I'm going to. RPGs nowadays kind of just bore me a little bit, but I do love games like this, Little Nightmares. I've already played this. I like the Life is Strange games, but I think this will come down in price and I can wait. So basically the point of this, I want you to recommend a game for me. What should I be playing right now? So yeah, I don't know what I should be playing. If you have any recommendations, that would be helpful. I have a Switch and I have a PlayStation 4. I did want to show this off. They're still doing the clearance 50% off certain games. And a few weeks ago, I picked up Hotline Miami 1 and 2, the collector's set for PlayStation uh, 4. And it was $29.99, but half off. And I have their membership thing, so it was another $5 off that. So for 10 bucks, I got the two games, and oh my god, they are so awesome. It's kind of like a throwback to old 16-bit games, but it's not really like any 16-bit game I've ever played. It's super heavy on action and super fast-paced. It's like a bird's-eye view, and it's very, very violent, and it's super hard, but it respawns you right basically where you died, so... So even though I'm not good at games, like I was still able to beat both of them. And yes, oh my God, so much fun. Highly recommend Hotline Miami 1 and 2. So at this thrift store right here, every so often they do this deal, DVDs, VHS, books, 10 for $1. Insane. I'm gonna grab a lot of the action movies that I've passed up in the past. 
torque. This is so over the top. Cheesy good fun. I'm gonna take a look through here and I'll let you know what I get when I get home. Okay, so nothing super crazy valuable, but got all this for only $6, so excited about that. Oh yeah, bunch of DVDs here. Some VHS Porky's one and two. I'm sure I can get maybe $10 if I lot those together. Of course, I already own Porky's one and two. Porky's one is way better than the second one. Into the Forest, I'll watch that. Oh yeah. The Getaway. I always get the name of that movie confused with the Charlie Sheen movie called The Chase. Just thought I would tell you that. This one, Wild Geese. I like these VHS sliding boxes. I didn't realize the, uh, you know, the case was cracked. I might not have bought it otherwise. But, you know, for 10 cents, grab that. This actually looks like it could be pretty funny. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. Youth in Revolt. Michael Cera. Zach Galifianakis. I'll check that out. Predator, classic, the old uh, CBS Fox box right there. Days of Thunder, I've never seen that before, so glad to pick that up. A lot of the VHS I watch in the garage as I'm working, so they're kind of just like background movies, and that seems like a perfect background movie. Oh, uh, Josie Wales, classic right there. Here's Rodney up to his old shenanigans. My Five Wives. The Beaver DVD, that looks like it could be pretty good. I've actually shown this in a past video, this Arnold Schwarzenegger six film collection. And it was still there, so I grabbed it. Chino! Yeah! Charles Bronson. Got a bunch of action movies in this box right here. Comedy, Spinal Tap, great movie. Yeah. Stay tuned, this is awesome. I'm pretty sure I saw this in the theater when I was a kid. I remember one joke being super dark. Where it's a prank show where they just go up to some guy's door and they like tell him like, oh, your husband's dead. <laughs> that always stuck with me. But anyways, yeah. Here's Soldier, two copies. I grabbed them both because I just wanted to show this off. This one is super bootleg. And if you couldn't tell by the cover, when you flip it over, it's very apparent that that's a bootleg. And here's the legit one. I've never seen this movie, Hudson Hawk, so for 10 cents, oh yeah. Bunch of DVDs I grabbed, a bunch of kids ones, which I lot together, and then TV ones, which I lot together. So some of these have no value online, and I'll have to save them until I have another yard sale, or maybe I'll do a flea market or something. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do better than 10 cents each, so that's why I grabbed them. And like, we got new and sealed ones and stuff. And more over here. Yeah! Descendants. I love Milo Goes to College. Great album. So, picked up the movie, you know. But that's it for this video. I do appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time around. They have this guy right here.